listening to Soundcheck with the Moose. No, that's right. You heard correctly. Uh, where we uh, we rate things in bacon. This is sound checked. My name is Moose coming to you from the Moose Pit. Well, it's not actually the Moose Pit right now. We're we're building a new Moose Pit, and so I'm kind of in a makeshift um, studio. So I know the sound quality on my on my vocal mic uh, is not amazing. So we're, we're just give us some time. Hang in there with us. We uh, we have a good time anyway, even if the mic doesn't sound fantastic at the moment. But that's okay. Fear not, man. This is going to be an interesting show. Uh, as you know, this year in 2018, we're doing every show um, a different genre of music, and we've done black metal, doom metal, death metal, all that stuff. Uh, we come around to the symphonic metal thing, which I got to be honest with you, uh, it, it's going to take an awful lot to um, impress me in the symphonic metal range. And um, but here's the deal. I'm hoping I haven't heard any of the songs. If you've never listened to the show before, I don't know any of the songs before I play them. So I'm hoping we got maybe some, um, symphonic black metal, symphonic, normal metal, you know, night wishy kind of stuff. I'm hoping it's a mixed bag of, of symphonic metal. I, I don't know. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. But if you're new to the show, welcome. Thanks for being here. Like I said, my name is Moose. Uh, I work with um, with Pure Core Records and Black Lion Records and Slip Trick Records and uh, Non Servium Records and um, kind of scout bands and do PR and stuff like that. So this is my show where I listen to bands and uh, um, I play them for you as well. I give you my opinion on the band right here on the show. Very first time I've ever heard the song, so you get an actual genuine review. Um, and then I tell you how many tacos I think it's worth because <laughs> tacos are worth a lot to me, Jack. So... We're going to get into uh, symphonic metal tonight. Make sure and check out uh, check out the show on Facebook, on iTunes, on YouTube, um, all those places. You can go to the website, which the website is very, very simple. It's not impressive, but you can not listen to the show there. It's uh, themetalmoose.com, pretty easy. But Facebook and Twitter and Reddit and all that stuff, we're, we're all over those places. So we just opened up a uh, – we've had a uh, sound check to YouTube – for quite a while now we're opening up the uh, metal coffee pr youtube um kelly jqs is uh, taking care of that for me it's pretty cool so yeah man we're gonna get into some music with violins and keyboards and probably some operatic singing if i had to guess and then sometime i'll try to figure out what the uh, poll question from last week was I, I honestly don't remember we'll get into that as well and uh yeah lots of fun with uh usually there's chicks and symphonic metal bands so you know, that makes it a whole different ballgame. This could be a Chicks that Rock show, but we'll get into that later. It's sound check. Just buckle it up, Buttercup. Just, yeah, do it. Hey, this is Rob from Bleed, and you're listening to The Moose. Seriously, wild metal. And I like rubbing Cheeto dust in my eyes.
opening things up with uh, entropy coding. So this is what I'm afraid we're going to run into a lot tonight. And this is why I said it's going to be an interesting show for me because, you know what was wrong with that song? Nothing. Production was beautiful. Uh, the music was incredible. It was all the hell over the place. Instrumentation was fantastic. The skill of the players is obviously there. Um, nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It was a wonderful. One of the things I do dig about this kind of music is it's really orchestrated, so there's a lot of movements and textures and spacing and, and all that kind of stuff. It's They're kind of like um, fluffy prog bands, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, but for me, what, what made that interesting above, uh, any of the other bands on the show tonight? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I expected keyboards. I expected great instrumentation, vocal, very nice. Um, it's all really good stuff. Uh, but it did it, you know, does it stand out in any way, uh, from the numerous thousands of bands in the, symphonic metal category i mean you know leaves eyes and Nightwish and all that stuff you know is it is it is it going to be one of those things that uh you know hoggle on rune dance uh it, which wouldn't be symphonic but that female folk so it's just it it to me i don't know that it has a voice that separates itself um from the other people and listen that may be your live show you know some people's live shows are what they're all about um the song was a four taco it was a really good song um, all of it was good. What made it um, past that, though, I, I don't know. So it was it was good, man. So we're gonna I'm gonna go through this a lot tonight, and it has nothing to do with not being a fan of symphonic metal. It just to me, you really have to have your signature. You have to have your sound, and have to make it different than other people's. And listen, it's that way with all music. Um, but sym symphonic is really hard to do it because you're dealing with a bunch of damn music geniuses. So anyway, yeah, man. So pretty cool. We got a long way to go. Coming up next is a band called Eternal Silence. Let's get on it. Text in your request to the Soundcheck Taco Line. 424-666-7356.
So eternal silence there. Uh, I like this. That was more on the end of straightforward um, power symphonic metal. Had that kind of Lord of the Rings, you know, dragons and swords kind of feel. Um, not as proggy as entropy. Um, and and I like I like the uh, the eternal silence track a little bit better. I feel like the vocal had more uh, emotion to it. Uh, had more of a story feeling to it. Uh, very epic. The guitar playing was wicked. That solo was sickening. Um, really good. Uh, four, like four or five tacos, 4.5 on that. Really good. I, here's the feeling. I, I get a feeling that most of the dudes listening to this show are going to look up these bands to see which one has the hottest chick singer. And they're like, yeah, I like that one the best. <laughs> That's so sad, but it's true. It's true. I, I don't know. I haven't looked at any of them. I, I can see their album covers on the uh, screen here in the studio, but they're very tiny, and so I don't have any idea. So, yeah, a bunch of dudes are like, yeah, man, I, I love that band. She's hot, which is that's why all the guys like the Butcher Babies, because they showed their boobs, everybody. Congratulations. You have boobs. Thank you, Butcher Babies. Uh, coming up next is a band called Crystal Gates. I guess I need to look up the uh, the Twitter question from last week. If I even did one, I... I I, I get lost anymore doing PR now and stuff. I'm, I'm so damn busy. I forget what the hell I'm doing. But, you know, we'll see. Let's look here real quick. Um, let's go to the old Twitter question Facebook page. Um, if I can find it. Where the hell is it? Um, I don't know. I'll find it, and I'll get back with you guys. And, and while I'm looking, trying to find my own Facebook page, uh, you guys can uh, check out Crystal Gates. And, and don't forget about the uh, Rumble coming up Thursday. It's going to be a badass show. Crystal Gates, grab a snack. You are listening to the Metal Moose.
Metal Moose. A little bit of uh, Crystal Gates there on the uh, symphonic edition of uh, Sound Checked with Moose here in the uh, studio, the Moose Pit. Uh, I looked up the Twitter question. I, I, I can't believe I forgot. Uh, after last week's thrash show, I, I asked, what was your favorite thrash band? And so it was really interesting because it kind of split um, Metallica pretty much slayed. Metallica and Slayer uh, pretty much killed everybody on Facebook. Um, but then on Twitter, it was a lot of uh, Overkill and Testament and Megadeth. So it just it kind of depends on which social site you're on, I guess. I guess the Twitter people are more into uh, Megadeth and Testament and Overkill, um, and the Facebookers are um, are you know Metallica and Slayer. So I mean, I I mean, I guess I would probably have to say um, Metallica because I'm I'm a big Metallica fan, but. Slayer is is definitely like right there. Megadeth, uh, such an important band. I mean, it, it's it's like almost impossible to choose. So, Crystal Gates. Uh, back to that real quick. Uh, it was just okay. Very very cookie cutter to me. Now listen, the guitar playing once again. Holy crap! Um, really really good. I liked the tone. Um, I loved the uh, the way the solo um, was stylized. Uh, it was well fit. It was just. Hey, watch me, you know, set my fretboard on fire. Really cool kind of stuff. So, yeah, man, it was it was okay. You know, it was a it was a three three point five baby taco. Just it it once again. I, it's this is one of those. The more I get into the show, the more I think to myself, I would really have to do this live so I could see the performance that the band puts on. You know what I mean? Because there's some really crappy, you know, sounding bands that put on amazing shows and and vice versa some some really really good bands have put on bad shows so um yeah it's one of those deals it was it was okay you know as so far um of the group um eternal silence is is the most impressive to me so uh but it's it's this i i don't i may not be the greatest host for this show maybe this needs to be um somebody who's really into this but because to me it's just you got to have some sort of signatures got to be something there that makes you um, separate from the crowd and this, at this point in time we've got a bunch of female fronted um, extremely talented symphonic prog esque you know epic music stuff you know so um, I, I need somebody to step away from that formula let's try something new this is genus ordius ordinus day creepy listening to the Metal Moose.
the shield to bear the grief, the night to stand the toil, and death to find the peace. I mean, uh, they definitely stepped away from the uh, the uh, the formula there, but that. But I mean, it's very November's Doom or or November, um, Catatonia esque Rapture, um, that whole kind of uh, doomy symphonic, you know, if you will. So pretty cool. I dig that. I'd give that a four point five. It it was refreshing. It wasn't uh, in the box. It was not that it hasn't been done before, but it was it was uh, emotional. It had a good story feel to it uh music i like the the riff tone uh, and it had a signature riff in it uh, which i think is really important uh which most of the time um it seems like a lot of the times that the symphonic metal bands have more of a signature keyboard break you know which is i'm not making fun of that but 
you know, being a metal dude, I, I like a riff thrown around every now and then. So, you know, like Sonata Artica are some killer riffers. So anyway, yeah, man, that was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, yeah, so we talked about the Facebook poll thing. Uh, real quick, I wanted to mention, I guess we're, what, about 40 minutes into the show. Uh, don't miss out on the uh, Soundcheck Rumble, which is um, two bands will play two songs, so one from each band, and then we let the fans decide who they like the most. It's been going crazy, man. People are loving it. It's a real short show on a Thursday. It's like 15 minutes at the longest. A couple songs, I tell you a little bit about what's going on, and then you vote, and uh, we have a lot of fun with it. And so we got three left right now um, going up against Still Warning. So, I mean, the votes are flying in, and people are sending in pictures and and uh, requests and all. It's, it's pretty cool, man. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of uh, people getting involved in the bands and um, and the show, too. So thanks to everybody who's involved in the uh, Soundcheck Rumble. It's a lot of fun. Also, real quick, if I know you're listening right now, but if you don't know, we're on iTunes. We're on iHeartRadio, um, YouTube, Spreaker, Mixcloud, TuneIn, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, Android stuff. Um, uh, yeah, man, you can find it just about anywhere. And uh, so this show goes out all over the world to radio stations and um, podcast sites alike. So uh, enjoy it, and please uh, please become part of the uh, fam here. We have fun and uh, talk metal. So Scars of Armageddon, this doesn't sound like symphonic. It sounds like death metal, so we'll find out. Let's do this. <laughs> Chicago rocks, Chicago.
I mean, that's just, wow. Wow. So I personally would not call that symphonic. I would call that uh, mellow death, you know, which I think is there's a real fine line between mellow death and symphonic because, you know, you look at a band like Omnium Gatherum, you know, got a lot of symphonic s qualities to them. Uh, but wow, man, that was awesome. That was really good. That was a five taco tune right there. And yeah, I mean, it's not quite burrito, you know, which burrito is the highest rating you can get. But uh, holy hell, that was a, the only suggestion I have is I wish there was a couple things. If they would use twin guitar leads just you know, every now and then in the music, it would it'd be pretty cool. And then if they had a vocalist who would, you know, hit some high notes once in a while, it'd be pretty nice. But uh, damn, man, that was that was good. That kind of that woke me up. I was like, ah, this is a. Uh, this is for real, yo. This is off the chain. Off the chain. Yeah, that's what the cool kids used to say about 15 years ago. I think I'm way behind. I heard a new one the other day, Yeet. Have you guys heard this? Yeet, Y-E-E-T. I don't know what that means, but apparently it's a it's a cool snazzy word for the kids out there. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what Yeet is, but anyway, yeah, man. So this is Moose and um, we do this every week on Tuesdays. Uh, we put out the show, and we put it out all the hell over the place so people can listen to it. Uh, we've been around for quite a while, man. I also um, run Metal Coffee PR, so I do the show, I do the PR, then I do the Rumble as well. So um, if your band needs some PR, just let me know. We can hook that up. Um, pretty cool. We got Swirl signed up today. A band signed up for uh, some Metal Coffee PR. Very cool. Um, and Punch Cabby. Um uh, uh, gone by sundown those guys are signed now so i don't i don't know how that works i don't know if, if i still do pr for them or if their new label does or what but anyway it's 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 uh i'm a busy metal dude so uh, but i'm never too busy to talk to you which is why i'm bringing this up um if you text 424-666-7356 um i will answer you uh always i answer every text that we get uh, the text line's open 24 7 365 days a year text in you can just text in and say hello or you can text in and say hey man i really liked this band or hey you should check out this band or hey here's a recipe for some tacos i love those taco recipes are fantastic so yeah that's true i'm a, I'm a taco nerd so yeah it takes a lot of work to keep this uh this body right here uh this next one just looks interesting just looking at the uh the album cover i'm not sure what to expect but they call themselves symphonic so we're going to find out but i'm interested and that's a good first step let's bake this cake the moose rocks floor the rocks floor
Gorgon, which sounds kind of like. Uh, so that's the darker side of symphonic. It's like symphonic death, which I. That's like the orcs, you know what I mean? Because a lot of this music reminds me of Lord of the Rings. I mean, that's just how it is, or Dungeons and Dragons. And so, yeah, that's the orcs, the scary side of the uh, symphonic metal genre, which, you know, there's symphonic black metal too. You know, we haven't hit any of that yet, but maybe before the end of the show, we will. Um, that was pretty cool. I, I don't know. I'd probably give that like a four. You know, it's I when something is symphonic, I like it to have a little bit more melody as opposed to just using the uh, symphonic for crescendos and for mood and stuff like that. I mean, I totally get it. I I saw the orcs writing, you know, uh so, yeah, I mean, it, it, it made its point with its orchestration and stuff like that, but I like it to have a little a little melody, and that was kind of non-melodic. And, but it was death, you know, it was, it was deathy, symphonic death. So it was, that was pretty cool, though. I'd listen to it again um, just to get a little bit more in-depth to it. I don't know if that's a, um, a, a record I want to go out and buy, but pretty cool. What I say, a four? Yeah, it's like a four taco. Pretty good. Not bad. This next one, I um, so I don't even know if it's really a band. To be honest with you, it could have just been like somebody making a. Um, they sent it to me though, so maybe maybe it is. I don't. But and, and if I remember right, I got it quite a while back. So, um, but I think it's some sort of a mixture of Game of Thrones and Stranger Things. Kind of a, uh, what do you call that, a mashup of the themes or something like that? So I, I haven't heard it before, but I've had it, you know, laying around waiting for this show. Um, and the band is called uh, Steep Steep Game of Thrones slash Upside Down. So, yeah, I think it's some sort of mashup or something, which um, I'm not personally a Game of Thrones guy. Winter is coming. I, I don't know anything about that other than that. And there's a midget on the show, right? Um and it, but Stranger Things, love. I absolutely loved it. So this ought to be an interesting little ditty here. I don't I don't have any idea what to expect, but um, it's got to be symphonic. Kind of excited about this one. Just kind of pulling in some breath because this could be cool, man. We'll, we'll see what happens. So Steep Steep on Soundcheck with the Moose from Oklahoma City in the Moose Pit. Uh, let's check this out, shall we? Okay, first of all, I'm old. I'm just going to admit that now. So the computer 
I use Adobe Audition to do this, and the print is really small. So if anybody knows how to make it bigger, let me know. It's steep steps, not steep steep. I'm a moron. So um, so I can definitely see a copyright infraction coming up on that uh, on the old YouTube. Um, but they admitted it. Uh, yeah, tired. Uh, they didn't act like it was their own material. That was really cool, though. I, I don't. I'm not familiar with the Game of Thrones music, uh, but I'm. I am familiar with the uh, Stranger Things, the Upside Down thing. So that that was cool, man. I, you know, I don't know how if that's like we want to introduce ourselves as a band and this is the kind of stuff we're into, or if it was just you know a band playing around with a mashup. I don't know, but it, it was cool. It was very. Uh, I can see some Game of Throners making love to that music. It's like Barry White, uh, and it wasn't metal. You know, it was it was it was definitely symphonic and soundscape esque, very mood uh, movie scene kind of stuff. Just knights and and orcs and uh, you know little kids in a you know love triangle. I don't know something like that, but anyway, pretty cool. I, I but I totally give it a five. It was awesome. I loved the originality of the mashing it together. Two things that people were you know enthralled with those shows and cool man, cool. I'm sorry about calling you steep steep. It just uh, yeah, I can't I can't see. I'm exhausted too, so I'm just like oh my god. I'm trying I'm trying to read and I can't and I can't spell I can't talk. And I'm trying to, you know, be a podcast guy, and uh, I'm failing tonight. So uh, that's that's my fault completely. Uh, there's just, uh, you know, I, I got to get out there and watch a, another episode of Colony. So another yawn. Wow, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, it's, it's past my bedtime. It's almost ten o'clock. So, yeah. Anyway, we got a long way to go. We got the Beyond Forgiveness next. Who so Beyond Forgiveness is actually. Um, been on Soundcheck or the Metal Moose. So I've one of the two. I've played them before. But one of the things about Soundcheck in 2018, we will never play the same band twice. Every show was going to be new bands, new songs, stuff that's never been held. So for the entire year, um, you're not going to hear the same thing twice. Now, listen on the Rumble. You're going to hear the Champion, of course. You know, but this the show itself, Soundcheck. All new music, 100% new stuff, every single damn show. And we're doing the genre thing, so, you know, Symphonic tonight. I don't know what's coming. I think I want to do Grind next, but I'm not sure to look at the schedule, see what's going on. Uh, Beyond Forgiveness. It's here. You're listening to Soundcheck with the Moose. Thank you. 
Something in my mind says that I that I had played them before and I didn't like them and and I I remember even putting the show together tonight going I don't think I liked that band uh, but that was good that was uh, I either I'm mistaken and they were good before or they've gotten better you know that could happen too so um, that was pretty good I liked it I liked it, it was a good story uh, the music was cool it was very uh, triumphant, you know what I mean? I love the male and female vocal trade-off, which sometimes that can be totally, totally um, cliche or clicky or cliche, whatever, however you want to say it. But anyway, that's pretty good. I'd give it probably a four, you know, a four uh, taco rating, which is, if I'm only keeping one taco for myself, you're doing pretty good. Trust me on that one. So some bands get the taco shell, and that's that's not good. <laughs> so uh, don't don't be hurt by uh, my opinion. It's just it's just my opinion. It's not that important. But you know, I try to have a good ear for music. I I think that's why you know doing this PR thing is cool. I'm so excited for the guys and uh, gal in Gone by Sunbound for getting signed. You know, it's, I listen to music and I go, yeah, man. I I, I bet you some labels would be into this. And anyway, so yeah, I I try to pick good stuff and. Uh, we used to do the pick of the show every show uh, last year, 2017, when I was doing the uh, full reviews and stuff. Uh, so I, I got a little bit more in depth last year about the reviews. This year, um, it's more about doing the genres and seeing what people like to hear. And um, because you know, if you listen to uh, Soundcheck last year, it was a hundred different genres per show, and you hadn't. It was it was so hard to review them anymore. I was just like, oh my God, my head's going to explode. I've heard so many different um, sounds and stories and textures and productions. I was like, I, I can't do it anymore. Um, so when I decided to do the genres uh, for 2018, I thought I'm, I'm still going to, you know, throw a taco rating out there, but I'm not going to get quite as in depth. You know, we may do that again in 2019, but I know one thing that we are going to do is we're going to do something called the masters, which is, um, it's going to deal with um, the show still going to be mainly an indie underground show, but we're going to uh, talk about songs off of really, really highly praised records that didn't get enough recognition. And we're going to talk about the uh, the production and the album writing and all that stuff. It's going to be cool, fun. Coming up right now is a band called Celestia. I can't, I don't know what the title is. Here it is. I don't know. <laughs> 
check on iTunes, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and in your local taco truck. More orc metal. Uh, you, you know, listen, here's the deal. And, uh, uh, last year, when I was like, I'm going to start really trying to educate myself on, you know, gent and core and all that stuff, which I, to me, it's a whole, I don't know, I don't want to get into it, but I'm not like up to date educated on the symphonic world, uh, just because I'm not a big symphonic listener. Um, but I didn't know that this whole death uh, operatic thing was so prevalent. I mean, I know that it existed, but I mean, it's, that's two um, in one show. Uh, and I've just randomly picked things, you know what I mean? So obviously it's out there. Um, interesting. Like it's it's kind of like darker. I, if somebody would have said to me, you know, there's a symphonic uh, operatic metal with blast beats and and death vocals. I'd have been like, that's uh, you know, that's interesting. You know, I'll give it a shot. But it's it's really hard to do the Beauty and the Beast thing. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Nightwish does it better without the, you know, but of course they're, they're Nightwish and they do a lot of things really good. So that's why they're you know, like the top selling symphonic band ever, you know, or whatever. But I like them. And I, I was a fan of Tara personally. Um, but that's, you know, that's just me. I... Anyway, yeah. So uh, coming up next is a band called Soul Survival. Hey, by the way, I was going to tell you guys, uh, I will post up a new um, question of the week. Uh, I won't remember what it is by the time the next show comes around. So I'll have to go back and look at it again. But, uh, I'll do that on Facebook and on Twitter so you guys can have fun answering those questions. I think my question this week is going to be, uh, it's probably going to be, uh, who would you pick to win a uh, guacamole wrestling uh, fight between um, Tara and Simone from Epica? And the answer is, if you pick a winner and you don't say something else, then you suck because that's a visual from heaven. Heaven. Text in your request to the Soundcheck Taco Line, 
this is one of those situations where you kind of want to be gentle and you know use kid kid gloves on this and and one of the dangers of sending your music into a podcast uh, like Soundchecked that gets listened to by a lot of people um, is that you really want to be on your best foot. You know what I mean? You want to be able to put forth a quality product. And um, if I would have listened to that prior to playing it, I would have written the band and said, guys, I, d- I, don't, uh, I don't think this is a good idea. It's not a good idea to put this out there. Um, the production was rough. Uh, the... Uh, the way the song was pieced together was rough. The mix was terrible. Um, the keyboard sounded like a Casio. The guitars were awful. Um, there was a lot of stuff that needs to be put together. Um, there are some arrangements that need to be worked on. The production, of course. Um, the flow was just choppy. There never was a solid, uh, good flow to it. I just talked about not getting too deep on these. Uh, anyways, listen, there was, it, it, it just sounds like inexperience and, uh, and the ideas are good, you know, the, you're piecing songs together. Um, so listen, I, right now it's like, it's like a, a one taco or a two, you know, I mean, you took the time to put it down and send it in. That's, I appreciate that, but it needs, it needs a lot of attention. It needs a lot of love. It needs somebody who believes in what's going on to take the time to, um, to spend with that so good luck man i think that you you know if you if you sit down and you find the right people and find the right um ideas and get on the same page and and uh and just put some um some thought and some work into what you're doing you gotta you got a good thing man so we're getting ready to end the show off with a band called shadow path which is that's a great symphonic name so we'll jam them and then we'll uh, wrap things up for the week about an hour and 45 minute show this week is um, this is one of the uh, genres that I didn't have a lot of music for, so I got almost to two hours, but uh, not quite. So, but you, normally the show's two hours long. Um, I can't, when I do the grind show, it's going to be like seventy-five bands because all the songs are like twelve seconds. But anyway, it's Shadow Path on Soundcheck. It's Hello the- there, grind children. This is the Grind Mother, and you are listening to the Metal Moose Show.
What's up? This is Ville from Fuck the Facts, and you're listening to The Moose. And Shadow Path wins my pick for the night. Five damn tacos. Really, really good. Super great production. Excellent guitar tone. Vocals were fantastic. The music was spot on. It wasn't too epic. It wasn't too unicorns and rainbows. It was metal. It was symphonic. It was operatic. It was wonderfully... Uh, told it had textures and that was good to me that was that was real good like that's that's a band that i would say you know i'm not like a real symphonic metal dude but uh shadow path pretty badass i would i would check into them man so yeah that's a band that i would suggest like shadow path listen if you guys need some pr uh, that was uh honestly the kind of thing that i listen for um in a band and go now that's something i believe people would be interested in i think you guys could uh um could do things with your music so um i'll contact you i will because that was good stuff um it's moose from the uh, moose pit here in oklahoma city hope you guys have had a good time tonight. it's been an interesting show you know it's not I, i'm used to really you know exciting powerful and it's been a little bit of a different show because it's not my favorite genre uh you know what i mean but it was fun it was educational. So we talked about the uh, Twitter, Facebook poll. We talked about uh, Metal Coffee. Uh, don't forget the Metal Head Box, guys. If you're not um, subscribed to the Metal Head Box, you need to just go to the metalheadbox.com right now and subscribe. It's the coolest subscription box of all time. It's chock full of metal goodies every month. They send it to your door. You can get different size boxes, uh, and you can also get boxes just for, like, death metal or black metal. or You can really, really... Um, customize it down to exactly what you want to get. Um, I'm a subscriber. I love the Metalhead Box. And and I can tell you this, man. Um, Melissa and the people that run the box are good people. You know what? There's a lot of excellent products out there. I won't name any names. 
Warren Star. Um, really, really good products out there full of companies that don't give a damn about you, a damn about the bands, a damn about no. All they care about is the, the money they can put in their pockets and posturing and garbage like that. So, um, like I said, I won't name any names, Warren Star. Um, but the Metalhead Box is a fantastic group of people that puts out an amazing product. They care about their customers. And they do things right, man. Uh, I love it. I love it. Make sure and subscribe to TheMetalHeadBox.com. I'm ready to get out of here, guys. It's uh, it's a long day. I was up at 3 o'clock this morning, and uh, it's now getting close to 11 o'clock at night. I'm tired. So just being honest with you. I say it at the end of every show. I'm going to say it again. Wake up. Be cool. Kick ass. Be kind. Repeat. Take care of each other. Change somebody's life by giving them a smile. Until next time, guys, take care.